Question 1. Define XHTML. Answer. XHTML Extensible Hypertext Markup Language is a markup language that specifies the format of the text that is displayed in a web browser such that Microsoft's Internet Explorer or Netscape, it is cross between HTML and XML. Question 2. Difference between HTML and XHTML? Answer. In HTML, it is to specify the document's content, structure and formatting. Formatting might specify where the browser placed an element in a web page or the fonts and colors used to display an element. In XHTML, allows only a document's content and structure to appear in a valid XHTML document, and not its formatting. Normally such formatting is specified with cascading style sheets. Question 3. Rules for writing XHTML document? Answer. Elements and attributes should be written in lowercase. All elements should be closed. All documents should have doc type. All elements should be properly nested. Question 4. Define headers in XHTML? Answer. XHTML provides six headers, H1 through H6, for specifying the relative importance of information. Header element H1 is considered the most significant header and is rendered in a larger font than the other five headers. Each successive header element, H2, H6, is rendered in a progressively smaller font. Question 5. What is the use of linking element in XHTML? Answer. One of the most important XHTML features is the hyperlink, linking element, which references or links to other resources, such as XHTML documents, web pages, a file or an email address. Links are created using the anchor element. The most important attribute for the A element is href, which specifies the resource being linked. Question 6. Explain the use of IMG element? Answer. An IMG element is used to insert an image in the document. The image file's location is specified with the IMG element's src attribute. Optional attributes width and height specify the image's width and height. Question 7. What is the use of alt attribute in IMG element? Answer. The alt attribute in IMG element makes web pages more accessible to users with disabilities, especially those with vision impairments who use text-based browser. The speech synthesizer software application speaks the alt attribute's value so that the user knows what the browser is displaying. Question 8. What is the difference between an ordered list element and ordered list element? Answer. The undered list element will creates a list in which each item in the list begins with a bullet symbol called disk. Each entry in an undered list is a li list item element. The all ordered list element creates a list in which each item begins with a number. Question 9. What are the three sections in XHTML table? Answer. A table has three distinct sections head, body and foot. The head section is defined with a theed element which contains header information such as column names. The foot section is defined with tfoot element. The body section or table body contains the table's primary data. Question 10. Define forms in XHTML? Answer. XHTML provides forms for collecting information from users. Forms contain visual components such as buttons that users click. Forms may also contain non-visual components called hidden inputs which are used to store any data such as email addresses and XHTML document file names used for linking. A form begins with the form element. Attribute method specifies how the form's data is sent to the server. Question 11. Define frames in XHTML? Answer. Frames allow the browser to display more than one XHTML document simultaneously. The frame set element informs the browser that the page contains remains. XHTML provides the no frames element to specify alternative content for browser that do not support frames. Frame set element is used to create more complex layouts in a web page by nesting frame sets.
Question 12. What is the use of summary and caption element in table element? Answer. Element summary summarizes the table's contents and is used by speech devices to make the table more accessible to users with visual impairments. Element caption describes the table's content. The text inside the tag is rendered above the table in most browser. Question 13. What is the use of internal hyperlink? Answer. Internal linking is a mechanism that enables the user to jump between locations in the same document. Internal linking is useful for long documents that contain many sections. Clinking an internal link enables users to find a section without scrolling through entire document. Question 14. Define CSS? Answer. CSS is cascading style sheets that allow document authors to specify the presentation of elements on a web page separately from the structure of the document. This separation of structure from presentation simplifies maintaining and modifying a document's layout. Define inline style sheet and embedded style sheet. Inline style sheet, inline styles that declare an individual element's format using the XHTML attribute style. Embedded style sheet. Embedded style sheets enable a web page author to embed an entire CSS document in an XHTML document's head section. Question 15. What is the disadvantage of indirectly embedding of JavaScript? Answer. If small amount of JavaScript code has to be embedded in XHTML document then making a separate JavaScript file is meaningless if the JavaScript code has to be embedded at several places in XHTML document then it is complicated to make separate JavaScript file and each time invoking the code for it from the XHTML documents. List out the global functions in JavaScript type, eval is finite, isnan pass float per saint unescape.